Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you with the live continuous coverage coming out of the Royal Rumble tonight. Of course, the big win by Roman Reigns. Reigns came in the Rumble, I think it was uh, number 19, came running down to the ring. Uh, he had a great outing in the Royal Rumble, honestly, just like his promo before the uh, Royal Rumble started. Um, basically, Roman Reigns was... Uh, you know, talking to talk about all the guys that he eliminated. I think he dropped 13 guys last year in the Rumble, and he said, you know, that was a great moment, but uh, I didn't win, and that's all that really matters. I didn't know what that was. This is a drawing on my wall that my kid did a few years ago, and I honestly thought that was a spider, uh, and I and I was getting a little bit freaked out. But um, uh, Roman Reigns, uh, you know, he pulled the victory tonight. Uh, he, he eliminated Big Show. He eliminated uh, Corporate Kane. He eliminated Rusev. Uh, in the final moments of the Rumble, he got some help uh, from his uh, family member, The Rock, who was there, I think, to try and uh, save face for Roman Reigns. Definitely, early on in the Royal Rumble, uh, number 10, uh, you know, Daniel Bryan came running down to the ring. And uh, when Daniel Bryan got in the ring, he really took over the Rumble, uh, you know, using all of his arsenal. He, he did his little flying goat move out to the outside to attack Bray Wyatt. Uh, that was able to clean the ring up a little bit because, you know, dove through the ropes. He was not eliminated. Um, and then they were able to do some of the special spots uh, throughout the Rumble. I, when I, when he did the, the move, I was like, oh, my God, that's how he lost last year. Uh, when he did the flying goat move, flying out to the outside with the tope. And then, uh, you know, Bray Wyatt caught him and hit him with the sister Abigail. What a great match that was. That was fucking awesome stuff. Um, but once Daniel Bryan, uh, you know, lost the Rumble, that's basically, if this was WCW and the NWO, this is when the fans would have started, you know, packing up their stuff and started throwing their uh, cups and nachos and hot dog wrappers into the ring. And uh, Roman Reigns had no chance, uh, basically. Um, uh, this is, was just like last year's Royal Rumble. Batista, people are saying that the wrong guy won. Um... Honestly, I, I don't know, man. I know that everybody watches the Royal Rumble because it's wrestling, and it is what it is. But we've all known that Roman Reigns was going to win this match for a long time. I mean, uh, I was hoping, like I said in all my videos leading up to this, I was saying that uh, Roman Reigns, honestly, in my opinion, is the easy uh, Royal Rumble winner if you're betting your money. But in my heart, I want Daniel Bryan to win. But it's just as a wrestling fan, who's a guy who's watched wrestling for years, they make it dead obvious who's going to win this match most years. They leave a lot of storylines open that anybody could win it at any time. But um, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar is going to be your main event. I think everybody's seen the main event for Fastlane, where it's going to be basically John Cena and Roman Reigns tag teaming up against Big Show and Seth Rollins. We all should have known that Seth wasn't going to cash in also because he had the Money in the Bank briefcase inside of the uh, Fast Lane promo picture. Uh, anything could change at any moment, but um, that's it. Brock versus uh, Roman. Uh, I don't see any way of getting Daniel Bryan into there. I don't I don't know what you're going to do. Putting together that WrestleMania card, um, some things are going to be the same as normal, and I don't know, it looks like we also got John Cena versus Rusev as another match you can fill in there.